Hey guys, it's time to unbox one of the most awaited phones. We finally have the Nokia 8. It's here, it's the current flagship phone from Nokia with the most awesome specs and everything. As you can see the box, uh, we have the image of the phone and it's a, it's a really simple box. Uh, on the back we got all the specs as well as the software information. So it's coming with Android 7.1.1 Nougat, uh, which is of course not the latest one, but for the non-Google phone, it is the latest software version. And you can see some awesome specs, never in a 35 processor, a dual 13 megapixel camera with Carl Z's optics. Uh, we have a 13 megapixel front camera, and a 5.3 inch quad AG display. So let's just quickly get right into the box. All right, we're just gonna pull this one up. And as you can see, oops, we got some paperwork as well as the SIM ejecting tool. And here we have the flagship Nokia 8 phone. And uh, as you can see, covered in plastic, feels light. I have to say, not a heavy phone. Let's put this phone on the side and see what else we have inside the box. So just a, a one little thing here. Let me just pull this one out. Oops. And seems like we got our chargers. As you can see, all black Nokia branded charger. And I'm pretty sure this one does support fast charging, so you don't have to worry about that. What else we got? A USB Type-C cable and headphones. Okay, we got some Nokia headphones. You can see all black with Nokia branding. Also have some extra earbuds for the headphones. So moving this stuff on the side and let's take a look at the phone. So let me just quickly remove the plastic. Okay, there we go. And wow, this one, this one is a really premium. Nokia phone, I mean, in comparison to the Nokia 6 that I've used for some time. This is, of course, a mid-range phone, and you can definitely see the design looks a lot similar. Of course, dual cameras with this one, but they've made it a lot more, you know, thinner and have this shiny, uh, glossy feel to it. It feels really good, and it, it is still really durable, just like the Nokia 6. After all, they are the descendants of the Nokia 3310, so they are going to be really durable. So this is in blue color, and of course, in this lighting, it does show a bit of a black shade to it. But yeah, this is actually a blue color, and I gotta say, this looks really good. I like this shiny stuff, and uh, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on top, Type-C connector as well as the speaker hole, power button and volume rocker at the same side with a bit of a separation, and a SIM card tray on the left side. We do have the Nokia burning on the back and just like the Nokia 6 when you, you know, move your finger on it you can feel the text and uh, again the dual cameras on the back with the LED flash. Okay, powering on the Nokia 8. As you can see we got the Nokia logo and of course, Snapdragon 835 processor is not going to take that long. And as you can see, it's on. Hosham Deed. So I'm just going to change the language. There we go. And let's choose this one. Of course, let's go. Let's quickly add a fingerprint. So I'm just going to start. And done. Moving on. Finish. And here we are. And one of the best things about the Nokia phones is that their UI is a lot like Pixel phones. And this phone gets really really bright of course you can see that we do have a uh, large bezels on this phone and um, it's not following that flagship trend that we have bezelless phones that are coming out uh, but still i mean if you don't care about that this is a really good looking display and uh, feels also a lot bright and like I said, this is like the Pixel phone. The UI is pure stock. You even got the Google wallpaper application on this phone to try out the stock wallpaper and stuff. So uh, display looks amazing first look wise. And uh, of course we do have uh, two on-screen keys. So they do light up. And as you can see, this is the triangle for going back and the square for the multitasking. So it has four gigs of RAM and I can't wait to test this phone out in terms of the performance. So I tested out the Note Nokia 6 against the Galaxy S8, but then again, that was the mid-range versus flagship, but this is going to be flagship versus flagship, and this phone doesn't cost that much, of course, it's in $600 range, it's a lot affordable compared to the new phones that are coming out right now, that cost more than $700, $800, you can see it feels super snappy, like Snapdragon 835 is a really fast chipset, in real life performance, you're not going to notice any 
issues. Now when the display is locked, you can see that we do have an always on feature like other like Galaxy phones. You know, we have the time information, the calendar, and of course the notification information. It's It might be hard to look, but I can see it perfectly without any problem. And of course, double tapping the display, uh, you can turn on the phone. And of course, when the display is off, you can go ahead and directly unlock it by placing your finger on the fingerprint scanner so you can see that it works fast uh, it's not going to take that much time so here is the storage information so the software will take around 14.8 gb of storage out of 64 so if that's something you want to know and uh, along with stock we do have some couple of nokia specific options such as gestures so you can quickly jump to camera by double pressing the power button. So as you can see, it takes you straight to the camera. Looking at the camera UI, you can see we have a lot of features. On the top, we have the secondary camera action uh, feature here. So you can see we can change the color. Of course, it's now currently on the color. You can change it to mono or twin, which basically uh, I think takes picture both in mono and color and kind of combines it. We also have the camera switcher. So this will take you to front camera or the dual dual mode of course this is where you will be able to capture the scene that is in front of you as well as take the selfie so as you can see you can see me and i can take a picture at the same time i can take the selfie so as you can see it's like the dual picture it's a nice thing clicking on the top left corner it will take you to your main settings that's where you can change stuff like watermark guideline level um, zoom slider as well as some actions through volume keys so you can take a picture or zoom using the volume keys and also uh, you have the option for the resolution and now a pretty shocking surprise from this phone that I wasn't expecting that you can actually record ultra HD 4k video from front camera and I have to try this out uh, basically, this is something that is not available on any phone out there. I'm pretty sure iPhone 10, uh, Galaxy Note 8, they, they don't have the 4K option. You know, the Note 8 takes the level to 1440p, but 4K is awesome. So I wanted to try this out, how well it can do with 4K. Of course, you can record 4K video with the back camera as well. Back to the camera UI. As you can see, we have this little camera button, and as soon as we press it, we got different modes uh this one live bokeh this is of course like the portrait mode so let's try this mode on to this object so if i quickly focus it as you can see we have the option for the bokeh so the cup is in focus and it tries to blur the background obviously it's not going to work that good from this distance because i'm not that far away from this object uh, but as far as the execution goes i mean this is of course one of the most poor execution of the portrait or bokeh whatever you know on other phones like iphone or note 8 or even oneplus 5 they have this automatic depth effect where the phone automatically blurs the background at a specific distance so it's not happening here it's not giving me any guideline but this is how you execute this mode by just sliding uh, this uh, bokeh or focus thing and other than that we have some couple of other features beauty mode there's like manual settings so in terms of battery, we have a 3090 milliamp hour battery uh, coupled with this, of course, 5.3 inch quad HD display. I really want to see how this phone will handle uh, this high display with that battery size. So um, yeah, this is the new Nokia 8, the company's current flagship phone. Um, there will be a Nokia 9 as well, as we have seen in the leaks. So that phone will have like less bezels, but the same internals, probably same internals as this one. So I'll be making a video on that really soon. But yeah, this is the Nokia 8. I will be testing this phone out speed wise compared to other phones. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.